Hey everyone, welcome back to our tutorial on expressions in the Avatar Builder. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how you can consolidate all of your accessory animation data into a single mouse movement so you can put them all together and kind of animate all your accessories at a single time. Um, so as, as you may recall, we left off in the eyes tutorial uh, in the expression tab here. Uh, we don't have any expressions um, um, saved, any expression uh, profiles saved uh, for the eyes here. If we go into preview mode and we uh, move around, you can see I have the uh, eyebrows set up as well as the uh, antenna that I previously added. You can't see the antenna from right there. There's the uh, angry antenna. There's the happy antenna. Angry, happy, and sad, and I don't know, whatever you're sick, whatever that is. This is also a sad one, and that's an excited one. All right, so there we have all that other stuff set up. If I go to preview mode, I'm just going to set up a couple profiles for the eyes here. We're just going to set up uh, angry and happy. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Um, if I go to, uh, and I press the, uh, first of all, I'll select the middle, and I'm just going to apply it and make sure we have a default set up there. And then I'm going to select the angry tab, uh, the angry profile, rather. And we'll select, uh, now I mentioned before that I can actually move the eyes if I select dummy left, or I can just adjust the eyelids by themselves if I select uh, eye left lid is my root here. I'll just select eye left lid as the root, just because we're going to do a little bit of editing up for that. And I'll open up our little edit motion layer tool here. And what we want to do, if I want to look angry, let's make him look angry. So let's uh, select a sub node here and bring that down. Bring some anger into those eyes right there. There we go. We kind of maybe stretch this one back out. Oop, wrong, wrong nodes. There we go. Let's bring this one up like that. There we go. Got to give him a furious, furious look on his face there. I got it should be okay. You don't want to twist the nose too much. And then we'll go to the right side here. Uh, this one again, um, the right side, or the right eyelid selected rather. Sorry. And we'll just uh, move that up. Oops. Make sure we have the right node selected. We're trying to get some uh, real fury in his eyes here. That's kind of hard to do because he's a little bit too cute. And I'll just go ahead and press apply. Okay, so now if we go into preview mode, you can see that, uh, boom, there's our uh, angry expression. You can see that the eyebrows are going up. If, for example, I wanted the eyebrows to go down, I can go back and edit that, which we'll do in just a second, but I'm just gonna define the uh, eye, the happiness in the, uh, in the eyes as well first. So we'll go to the preview mode here. Go back into happy mode, and we can actually just, uh, happiness is pretty easy to uh, express with these eyes. Yeah, it looks happy enough for me. We go to the left side, and select our eyelid, and happy right there. We can maybe expand this top part here and make him look even happier. I'll go back to the right side and do that. You can go back and forth and just uh, modify them all like this. All right, there we go, apply. Now we have... Uh, angry profile and happy profile. Okay, so if I wanted to go back, like I mentioned, to the eyebrows and bring those down, uh, I can just press OK to get out of the eyes here. Let's close down our uh, content manager and let's uh, select accessories and let's select our uh, eyebrows, which are right there in the uh, scene manager if you can't see them. Uh, let's expand that a little bit. Eyebrows right there. Okay, so now we have our eyebrow puppet behavior. This is the definition for our puppet behavior for the brow. And we'll go over to the Expressions tab. You can see I've already defined all of these. Preview mode, you can see exactly. Um, there's the uh, happy, smiley, kind of sick, confused. Um, that one's kind of sad. And this one's the angry one. So we're going to adjust the angry one right now. So let's go ahead uh, over to the angry one. And as I mentioned before, I have the dummy to be able to move the uh, um, eyebrows by themselves. So I'll select the dummy. And we can bring that down like that. That looks angrier than before. We'll go ahead and do the left one as well. Bring that down like that. There we go. And we'll go ahead and press apply. Or actually what we can do is if we select left again, I can select the uh, eyebrow and I can go to my edit animation layer here and let's twirl down the uh, hierarchy here and we can make them look even more furious by uh, using the E hotkey kind of twirling up those uh, those eyebrows. I don't know what he's mad about but he's one unhappy dude. Do the same thing on the other side there. And twirl those up. Twirl that up. And bone the final bone right there. Alright, now he has devil horns for eyebrows. We'll go ahead and press apply. Now let's see how this works out. So there's... That is furious. That He's super angry right there. Alright, so that's how you can uh, go back and adjust and fix all of the uh, previous profiles. 
Go ahead and press OK on that. Now there's one final mix of the ingredient. Uh, this character actually has some blend shapes uh, for his face. If we go into a 3D Exchange, we can actually load the actor up in 3D Exchange here. Go to the uh, Avatar section. Once we have our uh, actor selected, um, and we can actually just select uh, Edit in 3D Exchange. And once this character loads up in 3D Exchange, um, I'll go into the Expression Editor here. And we can just uh, close that down. It's importing in our character right here. And I'll just uh, open up the window. So you can see all of the accessories are included on my character, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's a little bit see-through in 3D Exchange uh, with the material there. But uh, what I want to do here is go down to the uh, Expression Editor. Um, you can see that there's a number of uh, blend shapes already. Um, smile, Happy, Cry, Angry, um, and uh, a couple of others. Um, if I go into the Expression Editor and I want to maybe modify those, uh, let's bring this uh, dude over here and send the Expression Editor a little bit further over here. You can see I've defined a custom profile. I've defined uh, these four in custom group one. So upward is this one. You can see negative eight happy, negative 20 cry. So he's definitely more happy in this one. Uh, rightward seems like he's definitely more angry. You can maybe add some happiness there. <laughs> so it looks like he's more shocked. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and, uh, and mess around with that. Um, if you want to find out how to uh, export your characters or import them or uh, do any of these modifications, you can check out our uh, tutorials on the Icon 5.5 Pipeline uh, 3D Exchange tutorials. I just wanted to show you that, how you can uh, adjust those um, in 3D Exchange. So let's go back into uh, iClone here. And what I'm going to do, um, in order to uh, get some facial expression uh, frames for, uh, for your avatar controller, um, you can see now we don't have any uh, facial expression. Um, if I want to get some uh, some frames for those targets, uh, what I need to do is actually go into the animation section. Once I have my character selected, he is selected, and I go into facial animation. And now what I want to do is I want to use the uh, facial puppet tool here, and I want to go down to my uh, custom profile, which I defined before. And as you can recall, I want to define an angry expression and a happy expression. So I can see the number one here, if I preview that, you can see oh, his head moves around like that. If we don't want to move, make his head move around, we can just uh, turn off the head orientation and tilting and do that one more time. So maybe this one could be a smiley one. This one could be an angry one. So let's go, just go ahead and record that. Smiley and angry. Okay, so um, that's just two quick expressions right there that we've done. Um, if I press F3, I can go into my timeline. Let's close down the puppeteering panel. I'll press F3 and go into the timeline here. And you can see if we have our character selected, select the character. Uh, we can go to the face section, uh, the face clip rather, and you can see there's a puppet clip in the face track right there. So boom, boom, boom right there. So what I need to do is I need to go into the avatar builder and I need to select expressions. So it'll say is pick the character to start the expression definition. So I'll select expressions and then I'll select him right on the forehead and it, it'll bring up my uh, avatar builder right here. And I want to select an angry profile and a smiling profile. So let's go ahead and do the angry one first. Um, you can see, let's, where is the angry part? Uh, there we go. That's he's pretty angry right there. So in preview mode right now, you can see there's, uh, there's nothing there. Um, so if I go into angry mode and I just, uh, go over here and I go ahead and I press apply. Now it'll be, that'll be in his angry mode right there. Rawr! So he's pretty angry right there. And let's go ahead and do the smiling one as well. So the smiling one, we can use the same clip for that. Uh, we can use anywhere over here. This one looks good. And we'll go ahead and select the smiling one and go ahead and apply that. And then we have preview mode, angry, smiling, angry, smiling. All right, so that's basically, uh, don't worry about what's going on here. That's just uh, for reference. It's just kind of taking some information out there. Uh, so we'll close down the timeline right now. Go to preview mode. Press OK, and then we have our avatar controller, the expressions tab. We should have some complete expressions. There we go, angry and happy, angry and happy. And these ones, the uh, facial um, definitions have not, de not been defined yet. But you can go ahead and do that by repeating the same procedure. I just wanted to give you a quick example of, uh, of how you can adjust that. So now we can go back to uh, frame one. You can go ahead and record some ang happy expression and an angry expression. A happy one and angry. And there we go. You can see the spring effects uh, on the antenna as well. All right, so that's basically it. That's how you can uh, define the expressions in your character. So now you have completed expressions.
that allow you to uh, you know animate all of your accessories together. And that's about it for this tutorial. So uh, stay tuned for our other tutorials on alignment and some special projects as well.